we'll move on to um, the next panelist, uh, Professor Dr. Dayang Anita Aziz. Yes. Okay. Uh, Professor Dr. Dayang Anita Aziz merupakan pakar perunding kanan surgery pediatric UKM. Beliau juga adalah pengarah Pusat Kepimpinan Wanita Tun Fatimah Hashim UKM. Uh, Profesor Dayang mempunyai pengalaman menjaga sahabat-sahabat yang menghidap penyakit kanser tahap 3 dan 4. Pada tahun 2019, beliau mengambil tanggungjawab menjaga rakan serumah dan sahabat karibnya arwah Dr. Mazniza Mahmud yang menghidap penyakit kanser usus tahap 4 yang serius. Beliau membantu penjagaan arwah Dr. Mazniza hinggalah arwah meninggal dunia pada tahun pada Januari 2021. Ya. Terkini, uh, Profesor Dayang turut membantu seorang lagi sahabat karib beliau dengan kanser payudara tahap 4. Uh, pada hari ini, Profesor Dayang akan berkongsi pengalaman beliau dalam kapasiti sahabat kepada pesakit kanser. Ya. Uh, good morning, Prof. Dayang. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, thank you, um, Indrani. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, for this session, uh, saya akan tanya Prof beberapa soalan yang berkaitan dengan penjagaan sahabat yang mengalami penyakit terminal, terutamanya mereka yang masih bujang. Yeah? Because Prof herself is a single person and she's able to actually contribute her time and efforts, you know, uh, to actually care despite her busy schedule, you know, she's able to actually uh, contribute her time and effort to take care of her friends. So I uh, will start now, yeah, Prof Daya. Yes, yes, please. All thank right. you. Also, uh, Indrani, I should thank uh, Professor Merita Tan Sri, Datuk Sri, Dr. Sharifah Hafsah, President and CWO. Uh, can work. I love the book. They're the booklet Can Work uh, and, and Ikram, uh, Dr. Diana, uh, for the invitation, yeah, uh, Indrani, yes. uh, for having uh, me to speak uh, this morning. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Okay, Prof. Uh, I'll ask the questions in Malay, and you know we'll just use both languages if necessary. Yeah. Wait, wait, okay. Wait. Kami dimaklumkan bahawa Prof. Dayang mempunyai pengalaman menjaga sahabat-sahabat yang menghidap penyakit kanser tahap tiga dan empat. Boleh tak Prof. cerita sedikit mengenai pengalaman, uh, Prof. Hmm. Uh, kita pun tak tak sangka kan but i think uh, pengalaman tu saya ingat yang masa saya di uh, sebagai pelajar perubatan pun ada uh, salah seorang uh, uh, peturakan sama batch dengan saya pun ada apa tu kanser otak eh dan kita role kita setiap kali sebagai sahabat ni kena ikut apa yang pesakit nak lah kita tak boleh over the top kita tak boleh uh, nak buat lebih pada yang uh, diminta eh? Jadi sebenarnya uh, saya, saya bersetuju untuk bercakap hari ini Sebab um, saya nak tekankan bahawa setiap role yang saya buat tu Adalah dengan konsen ya? uh, Apa yang sahabat tu nak ya? Jadi daripada zaman sekolah tu uh, lebih ringkas ya? Masa dia kena tu dia nak kita tolong dia bantu arwah tu dia nak kita bantu dia uh, study ya eh? sebab akibat radioterapi dia punya memory uh, apa tu short term memory kurang jadi kalau nak exam kita coach dia ya eh? uh, not sure. in retrospective uh, mungkin itu bukan cara terbaiklah untuk uh, jadi doktor kan tapi at that point of time uh, that was the request and i executed ya yeah? Kemudian pada tahun 2015, saya ada rakan sahabat baik saya yang dapat kanser payudara tahap 3. Uh, dan role saya di situ pun sama. Every time saya akan tanya um, apa pertolongan yang uh, kita boleh, yang saya boleh bagi. Okay? Dan dalam kes tu, uh, sahabat saya tu dia ada suami, ada anak. ya. Tapi mungkin uh, situasi, bukan semua suami boleh bantu isteri kan betul ya. Uh, jadi kita bantu setakat yang uh, boleh, apa-apa uh, yang rawatan, plan rawatan, uh, apa tu pembedahan, kemoterapi, radioterapi, follow up yang kita boleh buat, kita buat. ya. Uh, jenguk dia di rumah, apa-apa yang perlu. Okay. Uh, kemudian uh, itu tahun 2015. Dan pada tahun 2019, Uh, every time kita jumpa uh, atau buat persahabatan baru, mesti ada reason. ya. Uh, Allah knows best. Ya. Dan pada hmm. tahun tu, one of saya punya own mentor. Ya, dia 
juga uh, apa tu kanser payudara stage 4. Dia ada family, uh, ada suami, ada anak-anak, ada family support yang sangat bagus. Ya. Tapi akibat uh, apa tu kanser tu di, dah merebak ke bahagian otak, ada certain things yang dia harapkan dari kita. Uh, jadi daripada taraf menti tu kita jadi sahabat lah. Ya. Uh, dari ke, keperluan saya tu ataupun role saya tu uh, berbeza pula. Saya bagi contoh macam untuk arwah uh, Datuk ni dia uh, dia nak saya teman dia apabila dia di hospital dia nak saya teman dia nak masuk MRI punya apa tu uh, apa tu hmm. investigation tu tunnel tu dia nak saya teman dia uh, tak, tak boleh tu eh? <laughs> jadi kita teman dia pegang kaki dia supaya dia tak takut ya eh? uh, bila apa ni dia tahu dia dah, dah terminal ya dia tinggalkan pesanan-pesanan yang kita disuruh kita sampaikan ya um, jadi uh, itu dan seterusnya bila pengalaman kalau pengalaman ni membantu sebenarnya bila saya menjaga arwah uh, housemate saya lah doktor arwah doktor Mas Nisa ya and of course itu berbeza kan sebab dia uh, very close kan Uh, saya harap saya dah menjawab soalan uh, apa ni uh, apa ni Dr Indra ni because okay, right. with, uh, with uh, Dr Mas is is a lot different yeah because yeah, I, I started see. from the uh, treatment plan. Yeah. Okay, okay, Prof. No worries, Prof. Okay, Prof. Um, can we continue, Prof? Yeah, sure. Okay, alright. Uh, apakah cabaran tambahan uh, pesakit yang bujang ya? Yeah? Uh, yang mengidapi penyakit um, terminal, you know, sebagai sahabat, apakah jenis sokongan yang boleh kita berikan kepada pesakit sebegini? So, because you know they are, they don't really have, uh, they are not married, you know, they don't have the support system. Yes, I understand you. Sometimes yeah. people think uh, we are single. Uh, I mean, uh, kalau ikut agama ya, in Indonesia, mm -hmm. just put in ya, eh, when yeah, you're sure. single, uh, the the responsibility is to your the family should look after ya. Yeah? Okay. Uh, but you know in a situation macam Dr. Arwah uh, masih sah semua adik beradik ada ada keluarga, ada suami kan. Yeah? And uh, we have I uh, is my housemate for 10 years ya. Yeah? Okay. Jadi kita dah tahu hati budi dia kan. Kita dah tahu yeah. apa benda dia suka, apa benda dia tak suka, uh, makanan dia uh, apa ni nak ya. Yeah? Apa penjagaan uh, macam nak arwah ni dia Uh, kalau masak tu suci, it's not bersih ni mahu, so bersih suci ya, eh. so dia punya uh, likes and don't like kita tahu. Jadi, uh, I think uh, what, what I can say is that uh, sebagai sahabat, we want to be sahabat dunia akhirat. So uh, preparation tu mesti uh, yang kita boleh bantu dia ialah uh, kita gunakan semua uh, pengalaman kita apa, dan pengetahuan kita apa yang dia suka dia tak suka untuk bantu. Uh, is the journey. Yes. yes. Okay, Prof. All right, Prof. Uh, Prof, how did you, you know, was it possible for you to identify tanda-tanda uh, penyakit terminal in your friends? I mean, before they were even oh. diagnosed, were you able to see? Uh, I think uh, most of the time, uh, kita dah diberitahu, this is, uh, there's no more treatment, okay? Uh, on, on, all, uh, in cases yang, uh, sahabat yang masih hidup tu hidup lah ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they are doing well Alhamdulillah kan. Uh, I think yang bila kita tahu terminal tu the doctors will tell and they say you know this, there's no more treatment for this okay. But I think there are key points that as a as a family who's looking after and regardless whether you're a friend a family members okay. And, and I see this repeatedly even in my patient ya. Yeah. Itu okay. kadar keletihan yang melampau eh. Okay. Uh, maksudnya kalau dulu dia boleh um, apa ni boleh buat semua benda in one hour say now now the the effort is much less eh. The the stamina is much less. Uh, okay. apa ni cara uh, dia bercakap pun there's a lot of positivity eh because they have to think about it eh. I think we have to be empathetic and maybe sebab saya pakar bedah saya pakar bedah kanak-kanak kan jadi I'm used to Uh, kalau kanak-kanak ni sihat, dia uh, 
gembira bercakap non stop eh tapi bila dia sakit dia tak bercakap eh jadi it is us yang menjaga dia ni kita a bit more sensitive to dia punya changes kan kita perhati kita tahu eh ni uh, mild moderate severe okey eh, yang severe tu yang memang no no response lah ya yeah? contohnya ya yeah? jadi uh, we are a bit more sensitive to the changes and of course when you spend day in day out with that person you will be able to notice so i think to a uh, symptom terminal ni Uh, it varies between people, but um, uh, I can I can safely say one is the level of uh, apa tu tiredness yeah they, they get tired more easily and uh, dia dia punya mind eh? and I think this is when I hope people understand eh? when you you go you're about to die when people come and visit kan uh, it is very important uh, that you ask the person yang sakit tu uh, what do they want from your visit yeah. Kadang-kadang uh, saya dapati kita datang sebab kita ada masa tu kita nak datang sebab kita masa tu free kita hmm. uh, nak cerita kisah kisah lama kita nak mengenang mengenang ya. Tapi kalau kita tanya yang yang pesakit yang terminal dia 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 lain dia yeah. nak lain ya uh, dalam sahabat saya yang uh, datuk tu dia dia cakap uh, aduan tu here yeah, yeah, yeah. kenangan lah sama dengan uh, arwah sahabat saya pun. Uh, saya punya jiran salah seorang jiran saya dia was the except other than me that jiran uh, came and asked uh, uh, mas what is it that you want from us uh, when we come and visit you and she's very specific about it yeah? she was very specific about it say i want you to recite uh, quran i want you to just recite and leave Okay, because uh, sometimes, sometimes orang datang, oh nak pegang tangan lama-lama, nak spend hours with them, yeah? I want to feed you, I want to, uh, dia, 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 apa-apa role yang kita buat sebagai sahabat ni, kita kena communicate dengan uh, tuan punya badan, is that what they want? Uh, okay. Jadi, itu saya ingat saya nak tekankan lah, begitu juga dengan saya, kadang-kadang bila saya dalam, uh, bila Bila saya dah sendiri dah rasa susah nak jaga arwah ni seorang-seorang, saya diminta bantuan eh. Ada beberapa orang volunteer kan, sahabat-sahabat, ahli keluarga yang volunteer, saya setuju kan eh. Tapi actually uh, tuan punya badan that's one eh. She, she didn't want. She want oh. only this one, this one, this one kan. Yeah. So you have to honor it because right. you know right. this is all about the comfort of the one who's okay. leaving us, okay? Exactly. You go the extra mile to ensure um, Uh, they are happy with the choices they are tenang eh tidak ada keresahan we are doing only what they want you to do they want sure, you to do sure, sure. yeah okay. yeah i suppose sometimes you know as as uh, people who care for someone who is sick we tend to think of ourselves you know our connection with them that you know we want to spend more time with them but the question is whether they need they want to do that you know or, or whether exactly. they want the privacy or they want the exactly time. yeah uh, i think those are things that uh, we have saya ingat masa about. saya uh, minta kita dah bincang dengan dia okay we have to get uh, nurses eh nursing mm -hmm. of uh, actually keluarga kata oh balik kampung ya eh? mm -hmm. balik kampung sebab you know nanti apa-apa boleh kebumi dengan uh, ibu dia eh mm -hmm. uh, I, I, apa ni tapi she 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 said, "I want to, I want to, I want to stay here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to feel love. Yeah. I want to yeah. be with the people who love me, uh, and that was well uh, respected by the family members, which is very commendable. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I think, um, and bila kita pun double setuju, I said, ah, I, I, I can I get uh, apa tu nursing, and uh, apa tu can I get uh, other people to help? And she asked, yeah, uh, who?" So I said this is this and then bila kita setuju adakan rakan-rakan atau ahli keluarga tak boleh ada kan they all they are busy kan they have their family and so forth uh, which I, I now I want to I want to say that you know I'm so thankful to those who who actually made time yeah and and what uh, was able to help tapi bila kita terpaksa uh, gaji uh, bayar upah uh, nurses ya yeah? saya gunakan service homage masa tu i, I got her consent ya yeah? and they came and assess and she was very eager she said okay uh, boleh start cepat mungkin tak you know she can so uh, the uh, earlier plan is very important masa mereka masih lucid masa mereka boleh yeah. berfikiran baik kita kena sort semua ni supaya tidak ada kesusahan bila uh, apa tu minda dia merosot kan 
uh, jadi termasuklah uh, penjagaan. Jadi walaupun uh, what I wanted to say that walaupun lepas tu kita dah bersetuju ada nurse, at the end of the day she's she's allowed to change her mind kan. Yeah, so she changed course. her mind. She wanted to only be with the housemate. She wanted to be uh, the nurse. The job is just to uh you know in the she's go, she wants to go back to the hospital because she she felt that at home uh because the nurses there are other people i don't look after her 100% okay something yeah. like that yeah so i i finally understood it and i respected uh, what she wanted mm. and and jadi maksud saya tu bila semasa yang sahabat yang sakit ni dia masih boleh berfikiran kita settlekan semua uh apa kehendak dia uh bila situasi yang lebih kritikal tu sampai ya eh? hmm. termasuklah pengurusan wasiat apa tu macam nak settle hutang dia dan sebagainya yeah. okay all right and i think this reminds me of what dr aznida spoke about earlier the importance of communication ya yeah? um, exactly yeah so i think um, uh, uh, did it help from dayang if you don't mind me asking the fact that you were a friend a very close friend did it help you to communicate easier with her compared to if, if let's say her family member had done it do you think it, it would have been as, e as as comfortable as it was for you uh, definitely because you yeah. see uh, is basically i know how what is the character of her exactly. yeah she was the head of pediatric icu kkm yeah? uh, she's highly uh, in a highly stressed uh, situation and she work every day i think that is the reason why mm -hmm. by the time we know the diagnosis was really bad yeah because mm -hmm. all the while when she was tired we thought it was the work yeah uh, of course genetic plays a role she has the family uh, gene uh, of of colorectal cancer yeah jadi uh, memanglah kita dah tahu dia kan kita tahu apa dia suka dia tak suka apa cara percakapan siapa yang dia nak eh, siapa dia tak nak dia dah uh, kita dah tahu uh, day in day out apa ke, ke, ke uh, keperluan dia kan termasuk simple thing macam katakan uh, wipes tu kan uh, wipes tu uh, untuk untuk clean uh, you can't use uh, for every part of the body the same wipes you know uh, ya yeah? You you have to ask. Yeah, ini sesuai tak? Is it too rough on the face? So you get a different one for the face. It, you for to clean uh, kawasan yang sulit tu lain. Yeah, untuk the body lain. And you go extra mile to make sure it's comfortable. You know, uh, tu zaman masa saya deng, uh, jaga sahabat saya uh, tahun 2015 tak ada essential essential oil ni. Yeah? Yes, yes. Tapi bila zaman ni. Uh, we found out that eh, some of the essential oil was very good for symptomatic treatment of nausea calmness kan? so you invest on in all this because you know she does she knows about this and you can afford it yeah sometimes uh, kita tahu semua tu ada tapi kita tak uh, apa ni tak ada kemampuan eh? yeah, so saya bersyukur sangat uh, apa ni uh, not only uh, i know what's what what she wanted uh, we, kita pun tidak ada ke, uh, kekangan keuangan sangat ya yeah? dan kita dapat uh, support daripada adik-beradik dia yang uh, bagi kita kepercayaan ya yeah? that's very important and yeah. masa dia sihat uh, elok lagi tu pun dia dah akan cakap kalau apa-apa ini -apa, these are the people yang uh, you can communicate with ya yeah? uh, sebab the family is big kan uh, and she is a lovable person she everybody loves her she's got many many relatives kan but she knows she can tell eh? she's very lucid she can tell okay uh, if there's something happened to me i want you to only discuss with this 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 eh? she's a very private person eh? all right uh, so, and 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 i i hope i answer your question okay um, yeah. all right prof. prof you talked about essential oils and things like that this petua petua penjagaan right Uh, can you share a bit more that what what did you you know uh, yang that you gave her you know or that you provided for her you know while you were caring for Dr Mas? Okay, uh, Dr Mas ni she's very uh, conscious about nutrition. Dia makan semua organic organic. Saya not so lah. Saya memang not can. Saya memang teruk lah. Eh. So I learn a lot from her. And when she's not well, she knows. Eh, kita dah kita uh, we discuss a lot. Eh. Uh, uh, saya Ke, semua keputusan uh, yang saya buat untuk dia itu if, with her consent except maybe one eh? there's one that she has to follow my request and and then she agreed because it uh, turned out to be beneficial that is uh, saya memang tak benarkan uh, any pelawat dari dah hari pertama ke hari keempat chemotherapy Okay, mm -hmm. I really want her to rest and after that so that hari kelima she can bounce back the week that she's um, 
the good weight, she can do whatever she likes. So she knows if she comply, uh, she eats what is important, the nutrition and uh, the supplement and all that, kan? Uh, she will expect a good recovery every cycle. Tapi kita kena ingatlah semua pesakit yang ambil kemoterapi ini is cumulatif. Maksudnya uh, daya ketahanan badan tu akan um, berkurangan dengan setiap kali dapat kemo. Eh. So okay. kita anticipate that. Not, mungkin sebab kita juga perubatan so kita tahu. Eh. Yeah. Uh, jadi uh, antara perkongsian uh, contohnya arwah ni sendiri yang cakap oh uh, I, I need uh, you know the, the, the cause penyebab uh, cancer ni adalah ada komponen inflammatory ya eh? inflamasi inflamasi ya eh? jadi kita kena makan benda-benda yang uh, dan juga kita kena ada banyak uh, antioksiden untuk makan mm -hmm. jadi kita pun uh, hari-harilah makan daripada March 2019 tu sehingga dia tak mau makan lagi tu uh, ialah uh, contohnya keledek rebus Oh, okay. yeah? uh, so kledek rebus lepas tu diikuti dengan uh, telur rebus satu biji satu hari uh, telur yang ada selenium yeah? kemudian uh, green tea kemudian uh, ada certain supplement yang diluluskan oleh onkologis dia yeah? kemudian uh, arwah ni akan buat sendiri jus dia yeah? uh, concoction dia sendiri uh, yeah, dan, dan uh, semua ni uh, supaya dia recover faster ya. Okay, Jadi right. that, and then kita really minta uh, ahli keluarga dan juga rakan-rakan please let her rest this, this four days. Sebab biasalah orang ke, ada banyak satu hari dalam, uh, dalam, dalam banyak hari dalam setahun untuk visit kan ada a lot of people yang dia nuansa itulah dia nak visit kan. Masa orang tu tengah kimo dia like, I'm free only today. So kita try and reason out and she agreed ya. Uh, and uh, saya selalu buat Makan atau minum solidarity. Meaning, okay. whatever she took, I took. Okay, I tak makan, uh, saya makan nasi lemak ke, dia makan uh, ubi rebus, tidak. Eh? So, in the morning, I prepare. And I think all this investment is very important okay. because in actual fact, the orang yang menjaga ni, kita pun kena menjaga kesihatan kita juga. Yes. Yeah? Uh, because uh, there will be a point of time where kita will lack sleep, kita will lack uh, everything. Uh, so that we can increase the care of the people that we love. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we do it out of love and uh, yes, kita solidarity lah. Kita All tak right. um, kita tak asingkan dia. Kita makan steak, dia makan something yeah, bland. Yeah. Yeah. And as a result of that, bila dia sihat, dia appreciate tau. Uh, arwah ni sangat pandai masak. Eh. Hmm. Kalau yang pernah kerja kenal dia ni, dia baking, terror, masak semua segala benda. Jadi dia akan in return on her good week, she will cook what okay. I like. All okay, right. Right. so it's a win-win and uh, that week that she has to bounce back, uh, she's allowed to go out shopping with her friends, meet her friends or go for meeting kat Putrajaya, cover benda lah and uh, plan uh, all that, yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Prof. I think, Prof, we've uh, run out of time. Wish we sure, could talk sure. more, but, you know, we'll come back to you later with questions yeah, towards the end of the session. Thank you thank so you. much for sharing. And I think it's a very honorable thing what, what you've done. Uh, thank you, you can so do much. It, you can do it for family, but to actually do it for a friend, is, 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 it takes a lot of uh, uh, commitment and responsibility. Yeah? I think okay. you do it because you kasih. Betul, betul, Prof. Betul. Thank you, Prof. All right. Okay. You're most welcome.